Hey everyone, it's uh, Gavin here. Um, this week I wanted to talk to you about um, something which um, many people are actually deficient in, uh, particularly women and uh, men who have got a, a low appetite, right? And that's protein. Um, anytime we actually measure how much protein a member is having, um, it quite often results in showing that they're not eating enough, all right? So a couple of points on protein first. Adequate protein intake is critical to stimulate your metabolism. All right, I'll tell you a bit more about that in a second. Uh, and also to build and repair muscle uh, and in the reduction of body fat. Okay, so if you're doing workouts and exercise, then um, your muscles actually tear. Okay, just microscopic tears. Okay, and I'm not talking like a full on a rupture, all right? I'm just talking about having little little tears in the muscle. This is what happens, and then protein helps the muscle repair stronger, okay? Um, and that's how we adapt. That's how the body adapts and becomes um, stronger, okay? So <clears throat> also the, the quality of protein is based on the ability to provide necessary building blocks, okay? These are known as amino acids for you to function at your best, all right? So uh, this is where variety is important. Um, it means you're going to get all the different amino acids um, and then you're not going to end up uh, deficient in any of them. Okay. Now, what you probably didn't know about protein um, is it takes longer to digest, so you burn more calories uh, eating it and it keeps you fuller for longer. Right? So the example would be if you eat 100 calories of steak, so a particular high-protein food, then you'll only absor actually absorb around 65 calories because of the effort that goes into uh, digesting that. On the flip side, if you eat 100 calories of pasta, then you'll absorb around 98 calories. Okay. Now, I'm not saying don't eat um, any carbohydrates at all. That's not the case at all. But um, you can see how making sure you're eating enough protein can be um, beneficial in somebody who's actually trying to lose weight as well. <coughs> all right. We need to eat from a variety of unprocessed sources, okay? Um, so this would be things like lean meat, so beef, um, grass-fed if possible, lamb, venison. Um, now, when it comes to your meat, this is when you do want to aim for lean, okay? Low-fat options. You know, in general, uh, low-fat foods um, tend to, or something that's labeled low-fat or lighter options tend to have, a, a, tends to have had in the nutrients lost in it, or some of the fat that you actually need um, taken out and replaced with chemicals or sugar, okay? But in the meat scenario, um, this is when I would aim for a low-fat, leaner option, okay? So if you're buying something like mince, then make it a 5% fat mince as opposed to something like 20%. Other options there you can see, some lean poultry options, fish and seafood options, um, salmon uh, would be wild, if possible, um, legumes uh, being our kind of main, main vegetarian option, and then some eggs and dairy options too. Now, if you're not getting enough protein, and you'll probably discover that in a wee moment, um, then supplementation um, could well be required. All right, um, and if you're a vegetarian, it's probably required as well. So, the supplement I'd recommend uh, would be Sun Warrior. There's a lot of protein powders out there. Um, but Sun Warrior is uh, pretty reputable, okay, so uh, Google that you know, if you're looking for a protein supplement. <clears throat> Alright, your challenge this week is just to be a bit more mindful of how much protein you're having. Um, in healthy individuals, a higher protein diet is completely safe. I'm not talking about doing an Atkins diet here where you would eat nothing really but protein. Um, you still need to obviously eat uh, fruit and veg to balance out um, because the protein or the meats are actually quite acidic, so you still need the alkalinity from the veg, okay? In terms of how much, uh, approximately 1.2 grams if you're an active uh, person per kilogram of body weight, okay? So that may work out, depending on what weight you are, between say 70 and 120 grams per day. Now to put some kind of perspective on that, that would be like one chicken breast, one turkey breast, or one can of tuna being approximately 25 grams. All right, so um, that is a minimum is what you'd be looking to consume each day. All right, the equivalent of a ch chicken breast, a turkey breast, and a can of tuna makes 75 grams, all right? Or put another way, you could just use your palm, 
okay, to actually measure a rough portion, okay. So between one and two palm sized portions of a protein dense food, like the ones I've listed back here, okay. Like I said, from a variety of sources and spread them across the day ideally, okay. You don't want to just kind of have a, a massively a protein, a high protein meal, um, like a super high protein meal, um, and then other meals don't have any, okay. You're better having things spread out the day. Okay, so that's your challenge this week. Just be a bit more mindful of how much protein you're having um, and uh, think about having it from a variety of sources as well. Okay, cheers. Bye-bye.